Alright, hello there! Welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 2013! I'm Tenakov, and this is our lovely little town. <coughs> we still don't have a name for it, but uh, as you can see, we're starting to pick things up and head in the right directions. We've got a kind of a burgeoning medium density area with our low density, more medium wealth oriented area over here, and industry on the north. Or is that the east? That is the east side. East side. Alright. So, for this video, I think we should focus on giving these guys their own source of power. Let's check on water real fast. Oh, we've already given them some water. Sewage, we look okay for now, but that might be an issue in the future. Health is maybe stabilizing. I'm not really sure. But what I really want to do is start to spoil these guys into breaking out of the shackles of their low wealth jobs. This is, uh, that's an issue that I'd like to address as well at some point. Not really sure how I'm going to do that. At least not at the moment. Maybe I can provide a temporary fix by upgrading some of these. Oh my god, that's kind of expensive. No matter. Always remember if you place a city service on an avenue, they need a cut in the road so that they can do as that guy just did and turn left. And none of those guys had to turn left. But so anyway, you ha you'll have to upgrade all these little sections. Kind of uh, annoying, but once you get it, shouldn't be too big of a deal. And that's eased traffic right there. The highway, on the other hand, is a little bit tougher to take traffic off of, especially when it's only coming from one direction, because these three lanes compress down to one lane before opening up into the three-lane avenue. Anyway, that shouldn't affect our city too terribly much, to just uh, maybe frustrate some people with commute times. Let's see what else we can do, though. We're at 75% happiness. Medium wealth thinks it's too germy. Low wealth, they need money, and there's too much crime. Crime is still an issue. We have plenty of jail cells, plenty of police cars. I think we're doing okay. I think that should take care of itself pretty shortly. Let's see, what else? Low wealth doesn't like that people are dying, so that's another uh, health care problem. Medium wealth thinks it's Jeremy, but I think that more than anything else, they're just new. In fact, okay, maybe they need some more workers too. Low wealth is fine with the exception of crime, that should take care of itself like I said. And low tech industrial, oh yeah, uh, they had no power for a second, that was off camera just for a minute. It's been fixed, so that should resolve itself. We're looking at going ahead and spoiling them a little bit to see if we can bump up our approval rating. We've got $4,700 to play with, and the first way to waste some of that is by increasing our capacity on our clinic. So let's pop down some extra rooms and a couple new ambulances, whoops. I'm a little OCD with the placement of these. No matter, and give them a sign so that they know that they're in the right place. Health clinic, very descriptive that. What, they're going to ask me to expand, aren't they? Crap. should always look at those first. Yeah, I bet you feel terrible. So I need to add a classroom to a grade school as well. Let's check on enrollment. Uh, currently, it is 10.52 a.m. and only 80 students have made it to class. Let's check on regional enrollment, though. We have 981 students not enrolled. What I can tell you right off the bat <clears throat> is that the maximum capacity for an elementary school, or a grade school like this, is 950. With that in mind, let's go ahead and make it maximum capacity. If it doesn't need it now, it'll need it in the future. We'll add some more buses to pick up our lovely little school children. Give them a sign, because now they should be educated enough to read that they're in the right place. And a flagpole, because 
schools need flags. I guess. I don't know. I don't think my school had a flagpole when I was a kid. That's fine. Oh, and look at this. You can finally see that now these low-density trailer homes, like what we're seeing over here, just checking on them, they have now upgraded due to proximity from the school and are becoming medium wealth. And they're making their nice little single double family households. I don't know. And it looks like we've got a nice pickup game going here. Oranges versus yellows. Wow. That was a good shot from half court. Alright. So that burned through $1,000. And what can we do to improve our city, you may ask? Well, in the same vein as education we might as well clean it up a little bit so that it's not as germy and there aren't as many of these low-tech jobs and we can do that with either a university or a community college right now I definitely like the community college idea better simply because it's a third as expensive and we've got plenty of universities in the region it's just going to provide a nice job. Hopefully it'll boost our tech a little bit. It says nearby. I've never separated my industry like this. So it'll be very interesting to see, for example, if I put it right here, which I think is where I am going to put it, if that influence will spread over here or if I'll need to do something in the future to spread uh, tech influence over there. What does garbage think? Garbage is not getting to everyone. Okay. So... I wonder if I can... I need to leave room for an incinerator because as you can see we've just got a, a landfill here and what's the capacity? It's about half full so at some point we're gonna need to start converting that to air pollution and blowing it out of our map but getting rid of it forever. Speaking of incinerators Norway is in the news they have waste to energy incinerators to power their city and they're currently out of trash I wish I could just export some to them because that would be a win-win for everyone. What does the fire station want? They want a large fire station. I'm sorry, but I really don't see fire being an issue right now. And that is just the best thing that I've ever said in SimCity 2013 so far. I've got one single fire truck and it's extinguishing two fires a day. That makes me happy. Shall we take a trip down the drag and see how our commercial's doing? I'm not meaning to ignore my commercial, I just I don't think I have the workers to support it right now. That's good to see. Okay, that's that's good to see, I guess. I like this uh little donut shop right here. That's that's quite impressive. Right next to mediocre food and low cost donut. You know what? I, I like this. This reminds me of the Simpsons donut shop. I would definitely patronize that place. Patronize. The so Maxis Super Llama or the Super Maxis Llama? That's pretty cool. Oh, I get it. Is it the Maxis playing the Super Llama? Look at, look at the detail. Look at this little cord coming down in these Yoder and Sons printing. Hmm. What are people protesting? Too much crime. That should solve itself shortly. Ooh, look at that. There's two competing taco shacks right next to each other. I like all this green, though. Is that medium? No, that's low. Okay. And these guys. Cheap office. Okay, so, so our commercial seems to be pretty happy, with the exception of crime. We still have 3,300. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to llama speed, as is customary for now. I'm really starting to dig this curvy road right here. You can see the buses take it to get over to this edge of the city. Quite, quite proud of that. And we've got all of our poor people. Hopefully they're all nice and educated. Let's take a look at the enrollment map. <laughs> They're not educated as of yet. But hopefully one of these buses will actually stop. 
I read that the uh, new traffic engine has buses stop at high capacity stops first, which is quite interesting, and I think that's a great idea. So instead of having these 15 kids uh, neglected because they're so far away, uh, and how many people did we get? We got 245, so we really need to work on that. But I instead of neglecting these 15 kids in favor of those two, it'll come try to pick up the 15 first, I believe. All right. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we should play from a different angle for a little bit. See how that works for us. We're now with the wind. You can see our nice little haze of smog starting to develop. Let's give them a library. Because everyone likes to read. That's a great school. There's a library. Now, uh, I think I've got too many people. So maybe I'll put it on the main drag right there and kind of get rid of those people without telling them. You can see their education is going up, up, up. That's exactly what we want. And hopefully they'll get better at picking Sims up with the start of the next day. I'm going to put it on Cheetah Speed because we need the money. And it's about that time. If I was playing this for myself, I would probably play on Cheetah Speed the entire time, but like I said, I'm trying to gauge the new dynamics since the 2.0 update, and this is just a feeler, I guess. This road's still a little bit overburdened. Of course, it's just after rush hour, and I've just put a bunch of capacity on, on them from these brick houses. Let's see. Healthcare is still an issue, apparently. Still 10 deaths per day. Hmm. No one in the waiting room, though. So I think that's a positive sign. Let's take a look at some more data maps. Just to take a look. So as you can see, most of our city lives right here and is poor. Uh, for the most part, they're pretty happy. These uh, remember that these guys just upgraded to medium density, so it's gonna it that resets them, and it's gonna take them a little while to get nice and green like these guys are. Density, like I said, they just upgraded, so they're not gonna be eager to upgrade again. These guys all are begging to do the same as the people across the street, but if you'll recall, ooh, that's a pretty shot of the city. And yes, I turned back around so that we're facing the same direction again. Um. If you'll recall, we had about 5,000 people living in the city when this whole area was low density. Just this one section added 13,000 people to the city. Now, if this is medium wealth, which it's not yet, but it will be, um, it's not going to be quite as much, but still, that's, that's going to put us up over 30,000 pretty easily. It's an abandoned building. And those guys, I guess, didn't get the fire in time over here. That's fine. Ooh, a murderer from Vir Viridia. So, yes, I'm proud to say that I don't think the crime is our fault any longer. One crime per day, 26 local criminals. That's not terribly bad. Police coverage is good in these areas. That's nice. So it looks like by not zoning on here, I've made it so that the police are forced to turn on one of these roads, which gives them good coverage. And of course, a lot of crimes are committed at businesses, so it's good to have your police near them. That's the balance. You want, you want your police to be uh, pretty much equidistant between your commercial and your residential because the police like to feel safe, or the, the police, the residents like to feel safe and the commercials like not to have their stuff stolen. Important to note. And as you can see, there is no red on the map. So currently there's no gangland type area and there's no crimes in progress. That's good though. Very good. And education, of course. What are these blue? Passengers waiting. Okay, good, good. 
and it's 7.20. Okay, so we sh we're at the beginning of the next school day. So let's just see how many kids can filter in. Take a look. All of these little teardrop shapes are the buses. Zipping around, hopefully picking up many, many sims. Oh, we've got ten buses. I forgot that each thing is uh, double. I think that bus only... Okay, good. Good. It, it looks like each bus has about 40 s students, sims, children capacity. It's good. Traffic an issue along this drag. And we'll see if there's something we can do about that. I don't really anticipate anything beyond mass transit. But we have planned for that, so maybe we'll get to that in a minute. It is noon, so we're a little over halfway through the day, and we've only picked up 240 people. So maybe taking some of the stress off of the roads is an important next step. Or maybe the poor people should get their own school. Of course, if I put a school over there, they'll no longer be poor. Come on, they still count as long as they make it to the school before 3. 1.30. 2 o'clock, one more hour. Looks like all the buses, or most of the buses are just now getting there. Okay, so we've increased enrollment a little bit. Not very substantially, but a little bit. 314 for the day. For now, I can live with that. For now, I can live with that. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is put a, another school, a grade school right here, to service all these people. And then I'll convert this over to a high school. Or maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll put the high school over here. But that, again, that's for the future. Because right now, I think we want to build a community college. Seems kind of counterintuitive, but it's just the mechanics of the game. So we'll go ahead and plop that down. Now everyone who works in this area should drive by and get educated, and then the next time they drive by... I'm not sure exactly how the education mechanic works, but I do know that they have to visit this and then find a job over here, and that's how it upgrades. And the reason that I do this, if I can find the right data map, which would be pollution. These buildings, being low tech, produce quite a bit of pollution. You can see 79,000 parts per million of pollution. That's pretty substantial. And these uh, little brown areas that are being carried off by the wind, that's not good. Our sims are not going to want to live and breathe in that. They also ground pollute. Jeez. And you can see that actually this is certainly a dumping zone. Of course the dump is a dumping zone. And this building is not doing so well. I mean, it's doing fine, but at the expense of the land. This isn't polluting. Oh, it's under construction. That makes sense. That makes sense. But anyway, if they upgrade to tech, they will become squeaky clean. Which is exactly what we'd want. I think this intersection may have been too close to the only off-ramp. I really wish that you could put more off-ramps on the highway to kind of take down the stress. This is a lovely building. Is it medium medium well? <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty hilarious. Hey, it's not medium well, but that's alright. I would definitely live there. Give me an efficiency. I'll take it. I would not like to live here just because it's the only thing on the block, and that's kind of funny. Although maybe I can... No, I won't spoil them yet. There's no need for them to be spoiled. Or is there? What do you think? Should we throw them a bone just because we're happy with them? I think I'll give them a park. It's not going to increase the land value, but it's going to give them something to do. I'll put it off the main drag. 
Or will I? Could put it right there. Oh, you know what I'll do? Traffic is so bad on this road. I think I'll just make it so that not so many people live on that road. Have a park. Everyone's going to be nice and happy, happy. Oh, it almost reaches all the way. It won't increase land value, I don't think. Or maybe it does. I don't think that low wealth increases land value. You can see we've got a homeless person right here. So he'll probably come live in this park. Happiness. Wow, they're really unhappy. They have no reason to be unhappy, though. Tourism. Oh, that's okay. That's excellent. I like that. Either this is new or I've never noticed it before. You can see what wealth your tourists have by what color the little spikes are. Obviously, there are no spikes in here because there are no tourists. But in one of my other cities, that explains a lot. Yeah, that's, that's not how you want to cook your food. For those of you interested, the secret that made cooking so much fun for me was the low heat long time. If you can take your time and just enjoy cooking on low heat while you just slowly cook something up, it's going to taste much better than if you put it on high heat and just nuke it. Let's see what they want for mass transit. They want a bus terminal? I can do that. I can definitely do that. Not at the moment, but definitely in the near future. You can see I've evicted about 2,000 people by placing this park down. 96 residents visiting per day and no homeless. That's, that's good. That is excellent. Just what we want to see. And are anyone... 215 people, okay. Also, by placing it off the avenue, I'm hoping that maybe some of the congestion over here will try to just drive along these roads and not overburden my low-density roads. How's our fire doing? This is the second fire of the day, it looks like. All fire trucks are responding. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Four fires a day, okay. I think I'll give them a second garage. That is perfect. I didn't even have to evict a business. Look at that. Dodgy Meat Co. While I'm not too pleased with your name, I don't think I'd... Well, I mean, I guess if you're going to be a butcher and you're going to work right next to Tasty Chemical Co., that, that sort of makes sense. Shampoo and donut filling... Yeah, those definitely go together. And, of course, they must supply this 350 degrees over here. See, not 400, whoever burned their house down over here, not 800, 350 degrees. That's how you make your delicious donuts. Okay. If this is firework fun, we'll have a bit of fun with it. It is firework fun. Okay, so firework fun, they offer you a $50,000 reward to set fires all over your city. And as long as your town's pretty small, it's not a terrible idea because the, the worst that can happen is you fail it and you just burn down part of your city. But I've got, I've got some capital. So just slow it down to look at it. For the next seven hours, at the top of every hour, they're going to set, uh, set off some fireworks, and that's going to start a fire in the city. And as long as I have less than five fires in the city, once the seven hours expires, or for the whole time, really, um, I get $50,000. That's not terrible. Oh, Dodgy Meat Co., you're going up in smoke. They must have been following that 800 degree rule. I've put it on uh, Cheetah Speed because I'm worried that this episode might be running just a little bit long. You can see it's been an hour since I accepted, so they've now set the next donut shop on fire. They didn't put it out, but it's abandoned. So I'll just get rid of it and get rid of that. We have zero fires, and they'll start another one. Where's this one? There's the retard. Oh, build a processor factory. Do you know what that means? That means that we have some high-tech industry moving in. So our investments are starting to pay off. Starting to pay off in a pretty big way. I'm going to get rid of these useless lots. And back to the fires. Oh no, Tasty Chemical Co. I'm so sad to see you leave. 
How many fires do we have? Oh, look at that. We did it. Less than five fires. It's been seven hours, correct? Oh, no. We failed. Okay. So, that'll be a lesson in the new fire mechanics. Oh, these guys set them... Uh, that's too bad. Well, hopefully we can put out all these fires before we destroy our city. I can always resort to some drastic measures, if not. That is quite an intense blaze. Help with the spread. Come on, someone take care of my commercial. I should really start over here. Oh, that's so fortunate that that building just burned down. Because now they don't have to waste time trying to put out the fire there. So I think we're going to be alright as long as they quickly burn before this. I I'll go ahead and preemptively get rid of those. Just so the fire doesn't spread. Are we good now? No more fires? Everyone happy? Okay, homeless. We don't want to let homeless become a problem. Oh, how do I... Where's a map that they show up on? Let's see. Population? No. No. Land value? Not so much. I'll find one that they pop up on. <laughs> Visiting neighbor. Is a criminal? Is that what? Oh, it's a visitor. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, how do I pull up homeless? I know I can just, right? If I try to place a park, no? Seriously, government? There we go. So we've got three homeless people, and what homeless people are going to do is, if they move into a park, you can see we've got three living here, I wonder if that's those three, they'll take up the space of residents. So there's three homeless people using this as their house, so instead of 196 capacity, we only have 193. Not that big of a deal at the moment, but if you let it get out of hand, this park will just be useless. And with the higher wealth parks, if a homeless person is even smelled around a medium sculpture garden or something, uh, your, your high wealth citizens will not want to visit that park because there's homeless people there. I mean, that makes sense. It's a little rude, but, you know, whatever. And the cause of homeless people is not enough jobs for them. That could have been because this is redeveloping high tech, or medium tech, whatever. Which, let's go ahead and take a look at that pollution map. Okay, so, is that? That's medium tech. I wonder why they're polluting so much. In hair glue, they're low tech. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're medium tech. Okay, so they're still polluting. But there's less ground pollution. You can see that pretty pretty clearly. Which is good, because the ground pollution is the one that's hard to fix. Air pollution will just blow out of the way. But ground pollution will make this useless. And we want to make sure that we have plenty of water that's nice and safe to drink. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see. How's our trash? Okay, so we are at capacity with our trash. So the last thing that I think I'll do is pull a Norway and plop down an incinerator. It costs $300 an hour to operate, and it's just going to slowly eat away our trash problem. And if there's too much, uh, too much trash, I can always put another one and then close them. And I can fit garbage trucks down here, so I'll give them two more garbage trucks just to, just to sort of help with the problem, because I'm sure... I, there's no reason not to have garbage coverage. I've got $2,000. So I think the last thing that I'll do for this episode, for real this time, is check on happiness. We've bumped it up to 81%. And we'll run through that and how to go even higher in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a minute.